What is going on, everybody? Back again. Well, guess what? We've got a cool little episode today. You know, we've been uh, putting the SMC shows that aired on Discovery Channel for the very first time on YouTube, and that's what this episode is. This is for Dad and I, my dad, Pops. We go on Lake Okeechobee, and we do some pretty cool fishing out there. So I want to share this video with you guys. It's never before been on, on YouTube, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. And do me a huge favor, drop some comments down below. Share the video out, of course. And, and look, I've, as I've been doing these, I've been doing these little shout-outs. And shout-outs is where I can give back to the sponsors and the people that support us and allow us to get out there on the water and film these awesome episodes. You know, in this, in this episode, I want to give a huge shout-out to Mystery Tackle Box, guys. Mystery Tackle Box is actually a very cool and legit... Uh, subscription service for tackle that's going to show up at your house each and every month full of cool stuff uh, this box right here the elite box is one of my favorite ones comes every month I mean look at all this stuff guys jerk baits swim jigs that's a that's a grass hero hooks spinner baits swim jigs worms more worms I mean look at all this stuff another crankbait guys there's just so many things that are packed in these mystery tackle boxes and uh, here's what I like about them. Number one, I like that every month it gets stuff to me that I might not have picked up at a store, right? Uh, it kind of challenges me a little bit. I see certain lures and stuff, and I'm like, well, that's kind of cool, interesting. Like, for example, this one right here. This thing right here, um, <laughs> the Zucci bug, I, I, I don't even know what, you know what this thing looks like, but I found it in the box last month, and I know for a fact during the spawn, I'm going to be able to catch some fish off beds with this thing right here because it's unique, right? It's very unique. I actually took it on a look at Kuchobi. I think you saw one of the episodes. I actually caught some fish on this bait, flipping it and pitch it in the reeds as well. So pretty cool. I never would have like picked this up. I didn't even know this thing existed. So that's what I love about Mystery Tackle Box. Each month you get all these cool lures. You can check them out, and uh, it, it's a really, really good value. So we're going to drop a link in the description of this video where you can save money on your very first box. So be sure to check that out, guys. And uh, again, huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for supporting us as long as they have. And uh, give, it a, give it a try, guys. It's a great idea for gifts and uh, just a great, great thing to get. So, uh, all right, so enough of that. Let's get to the video. Me and Pops on Lake Okeechobee. Enjoy. Well, I think, I think flipping's gonna be the deal. I think throwing those clickbaits are gonna be the deal. I, I, think, I think there's gonna be a lot of deals today because the weather's good and we're coming off a cold front, warming up. Fish is going to be good. Okeechobee's always better when the water temperatures are rising. It was 50-something degrees, now it's up to 65. Hey, look at the sky. Look at the, every day's a holiday when the skies are baby blue. And it's going to be a <laughs> holiday fish with you because we've caught some big fish together here we on have. this lake. We have caught some big ones. And, 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 and the wildlife, you, know, you can hear the birds in the background screaming. The bass are biting. Oh, right. the, the lake, it looks good right now. There's a lot of vegetation on the lake. I'm going to show you some. We're going to run down south first. It's We're going to do back. a little flipping, and then we may work our way back up here to the Clewiston area. There's some eelgrass and stuff over here on the west wall. And this Ooh. afternoon, those fish could start moving in there. Some big things I'm could ready. start happening. So, you ready? Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Scott, you know what the neat thing is about Lake Okeechobee? Each cast that I make, I'm on pins and needles because I just think I'm going to catch the biggest fish of my life on the very next cast. That is a very common feeling here on this lake. Everywhere looks good and there are big ones in every bay on this lake. It's just a matter of getting them in the boat. I tell you, I'm excited about today. You've been able to spend a day with you on the water. I know, it's, it's been awesome. a while. It's, we haven't fished together in a while. Well, you know, we had the, the bass season went so long this year with the I corona know. had everything all backed up. And, and then I caught the corona virus and then that was October and then November and December I had my shoulder operated. I've only been fishing twice since like all fall. Well this let me, I got a good idea. Let me catch the big ones today okay. because you might hurt your arm. I know, you catch the small I, I might, I, I'll catch little ones. I'm, years ago we were shiner fishing and Scott was two, two, two and a half years old and I let, you, I let you reel in a great big about eight or nine pounder and when you pulled it in the boat it thinned you. It got you in the hand, and you were just young, and you said, Daddy, 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 it hurt me, it hurt me, it hurt me. And he said, you catch the big ones, let me catch the little ones. <laughs> so That's not the I'm case I'm you to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what I like to do is run this clickbait, which is just like a chatterbait, but it's, it's redesigned, basically. The Guggen, Guggen baits. Okay, That's what, what do you call it? Clickbait. Because it clicks. Click, 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 click. Really cool. Here. Kind of like a chatterbait. Here, yeah. Okay. It's making a lot of noise. Shimmy's real good in the water. But what I like to do is, especially these kind of high pressure, crisp mornings, those bigger fish, a lot of times we sitting 
on these little points, little point uh, reeds like that. I'm gonna power pull down right here. Power pull down. There he is. There he is. There he is. What you got? What you got? What you got? Big bass, little bass. Oh, nice bass. Oh, nice hey, that, one. Hey, you had a good one. <laughs> look at him, look at him. There, 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 that's a good one. Oh, that big old giant fish. Yes, sir, now that's what we're talking about. That's uh, Lake Okeechobee for you, son. First bass of the day, it's a good one. I had that one just knock the crap out of that's it a right. second ago. Look at, look at that, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, that is, that's, that's a great. quality fish there, boys. Here it is, Ooh. the middle of January, Scott. Brown, you know, and we're enjoying some pretty nice weather. Look at that. Look at that thing. And that's I got that, that new, new bait. Yeah. yeah, it's like a chatterbait, but different. Okay. It's called a clickbait. It's just click totally different. Yeah, totally yeah. different. And uh, I've been using it for quite a while. Yeah. Look at that nice big old What are you bass. throwing on braid? That's Straight braid. That's a, good that's a nice fish right Woo! there. Wow. All right. You, hit you know, there's a lot of fish this size and bigger oh, yeah. showing up on Okeechobee this year. I've heard a lot of people saying all year that, man, they're catching good quality fish. You know, sure. it's like, it's coming really, down. really good fishing right now on the lake. So, I mean, hey, this is the first one. And you know what else this means? It means that I'm beating pops. I'm well, beating you right hey, now. That's just the first bet. We've only been fishing <laughs> five minutes. I gotta get it. All right. Let's let him go. Okay. Look at it right there. There it goes. All right. Way to go. Oh, one hit it. One hit it. Got it. These guys suck. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got one. I got, got one. It. You on. got it. <laughs> Do you got him or has he got you? There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Look at that guy. Oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Here. Lift, lift, lift help him you out. Okay. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's weeds and all. You know, that's a... Everybody says, why do you use 65 pound fish braid? That's a perfect, that's perfect uh, Two thing. reasons you use 65 braid is because you get them out of stuff like that. And number two, you set look like a crazy man. You got that big giant favorite rod and the big, oh, you're, blah, 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 blah. what's wrong with that? Nothing. That's you get them in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to have big equipment you to do to, it. You have to have big equipment. It hooked nice just fell out. A nice, nice, good keeper sized bass. Yeah. I love it when they start getting in those heads like that, when they get oh, in those little man. chop mats and all that hydrilla and all that eel grass, all that all washed up in those cattails. When that bite starts happening, that's the kind of fish you start catching just like that. The tournaments are won on the flipping stick in these mats. You can catch them 360 degrees around this boat. See, it's direction. all the same depth. Yeah, it's all the same depth, all yeah, the same it's stuff. It's all the same grass pretty much. So when you come to Okeechobee and you bring your boat down here, which is an awesome thing to do, hire a guide here at our marina, Walmart Marina. We have some of the best guides in the country. Hire a guide the first day. Let them run you around the lake, catch some fish, get the lay of the land, understand what's going on. Then you can take your boat out there and just get out here on these vast grass flats and really have a ball and catch a lot of fish. And again, if you see a lot of boats around, it, it just means there's fishing. Just get in there and start fishing. I get a lot of mine as it sinks down. Then when it hits the bottom, I'll jig it up a couple times. I'll jig it up. You got one, son. Look hey, at that look, at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, you got one. Hey, you were jigging that one, good. Hey, son, way to go. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's Big old, cool. Nice old bass. Look at that. That's hey, cool. we kept some quality fish a couple of days, folks. That's cool. I'm telling you what, Okeechobee's alive and well. Yeah, look at you look, catch look big at old that. Oh, that's awesome. Fish. That is as awesome as you can get. That is something else. Woo! I love it. I love it, folks. <laughs> look at that. Look at huh? oh, he's, he's Bill dancing us. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, Bill. There's one for Bill right there. That's a good one. That's a good one, son. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Look at that. So Not, far, three good, solid, oh, solid yeah. fish. Three and four pound, nice big fish. I mean, it's just beautiful. This, Ooh, one's, this one's getting ready healthy. to Healthy. I don't think he's ever been caught before. No, either. no, but look, look. Oh, yeah. They're starting to get in there look a little that. bit. Little See that tail? tail? Yeah, the tail. A little a, beat up. Look at that. Look at that. These See, that's the thing. The full moon's coming up in about a week. And, and yeah. these fish are kind of moving in for mm -hmm. them. Oh, the water temperature is rising. Good All right. Well, Woo. we haven't gone very far, and we've caught We've caught three nice fish so far. Three nice fish. Hey, that's All a right. good deal. Cool. I like it. Thanks, I like buddy. it. Hey, watch this release, Dad. This is a patented release, and you're not allowed to do this one because I've got it patented. <laughs> you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> you go up in there and grab it by his stomach and let it go. <laughs> uh, not that big. Better than nothing. 
Alright. Still smallest one of the day and he's still a chunk. Still a quality fish. <laughs> yeah. Look at that guys right there. That can change oh. any second. You know what the cool thing about these fish today, all these fish today? These are the very first bass that have been in this boat. This is my brand new skier, FX21, brand new. We literally finished out rigging all the Garmin electronics on it yesterday. And this is the first time it's been on the water. And so far, she's been a lucky one. She's been a lucky one. You, what you got, son? What you got? What you got? I'm not gonna pass. Get a bass, huh? Yeah. What do you have, too. son? Pretty good one, too. Huh? Oh, yeah. Be in the grass? Oh, he was. We got him out of that. Oh, God. Look at oh, it. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. That's look a good that. one. Look at that. Look at that. Nice one. Ah! Look at all that, look all that grass. Look, he's the uh, eel grass. That's exactly what he was in. Look at that. Look at the eel grass. Look at that. That's eel exactly. Oh, a nice look, look at that guy. Hey, that's awesome. Oh, son. That's, that's good. exactly. Eel grass time. The exactly grass why this time. grass is important, guys. Look at this. Clickbait, getting the job done. That little thing right there. Caught him pretty good today. A couple nice fish right there on that. But that eelgrass, that's that's key right there. You can't see it, it's underwater. Yeah, it's, it's just And that underwater. grass right there is all in this bay and I can see it on the panoptics and that's what makes that panoptics so awesome. Oh yeah. Because you can scan around out here in this open water sure. and, and fan cast around and catch them. All right, let me show you what I'm fishing with. This setup right here, this is the Guggen Baits Clickbait. Again, it's just like a chatterbait, but different, right? Totally redesigned. They have this like metal arm that comes out this blade is attached, it rattles around, you can hear it, right? Making a lot of noise. Good hook, of course. Got it rigged up with a little swim bait trailer, like a little crawdad trailer. 60 pound, actually, no, I'm sorry, this is 50 pound P-Line X braid. My favorite braid, and I've got this thing rigged up. This is, you see me fish with this rod all the time. Uh, it's a 7.3 Heavy. It, it's the rod that I probably catch more fish on that 7.3 Heavy, because it's what I call the all-purpose rod for I favorite. I like that rod. Yeah, it's, it's a Rush good, Series. That's one of my favorites. It gets the job done. I haven't had any failures. It's just a good all-purpose everyday rod, tournament rod for me. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one now. You done hooked him. He's a good one. He's oh a good one. Oh my gosh, look at that look, one. Look at this. Oh, son. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> look at that. Oh, That's a beautiful hey, fish. That. Huh? That's a beautiful He's one. Here, I'll get down there. You wanna get him? You wanna get him? Can you get him? Yeah. Woo! Airport this one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Another. Ah, the old swim jig. Dad, that was a good one right there. Yeah, now that good. you just Dad. you officially have the biggest bass. So far I don't know about that, but I tell you what, <laughs> it's just it's just a fun. It, you know, we compete all that. the time together, and any time that we, we always get close them. to, well, we, we don't beat. Them. I mean, you, but you, but you never let me win or anything. It's always but, just like smash me it's down. It's just so much fun. It's just so it, much. You'd make me count how many fish you caught at the end of the day. It was awful. You caught more than I did. Right, getting a little payback. That's a beautiful bass. That's a beautiful bass. Look at that one. Might be the biggest one yet. Well, Big I don't know about the biggest one. I don't think he's the biggest one yet. Look at this guys. Look at that. Guy. Nice, beautiful bass. Huh. Look at Choby. I tell you, I love the way these things look. All right, so today the, the temperature is going to get at 74. I think we're already peaking there right now. 74 degrees. That is the weather app. Did you know that Fish Brain has a complete weather app on there as well? Yeah, that's that's the other thing. We, we both post on it. I, we have both about a quarter of a million uh, followers on, on Fish the Brain. Fish Brain is a, online, it's a social media app that is full of fishermen and um, it's awesome. And they have weather like we're on here right now. I'm checking the weather right now. They have maps downloaded on the app as well so you can see where everything is and where you are. You can also see like when the best time that the fish, it's called bite time, which is kind of a cool little thing. Yeah. And you can post pictures. So as we catch fish, a lot of times we'll post the pictures on where we are on the lake and uh, let you guys see. Now, you, if I, you can sometimes go private, but sometimes I go public. I, for most of my fishing, like when I'm posting here, mm -hmm. I just show them right where I fish. Yeah. And so do you. You show them, show them exactly where you I do, but you can easily turn it on private. So that way, if you're, if you're sacred about your spot, you don't want anybody to know where your spot is, it's real simple. You can still post the photo, talk all about what you caught and all the great things about it, but just hit private and it won't share the location. So be sure to download this app when you get a chance and follow myself and dad. He's at Roland Martin and I'm at Scott Martin Challenge. 
and uh, yeah, pop us some messages and drop us, uh, tag us in some of your photos. So check it out, the Fish Brain app. A lot more than just posting pictures. A lot of cool stuff in this thing. Oh, there's one. I got one. All right. Oh, so <laughs> ah, another good one. Oh, where'd he go? He's right here. Is he good? Big one? Oh, yeah, look at that one. Look at this guy. Oh, heck yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's a big one. <laughs> that's the big one, son. Oh, that's good. That's the big one. That's good. Oh, that's that is good. a big fish. That is a big fish. A right beautiful there. fish. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh, son. Now we're talking. That's a way to finish it off look right there. Look at this there. guy. People ask me all the time, what have you learned from your dad? Like, did he teach you how to fish? Did he teach you what to look for when you're fishing? Did he teach you? And I say, no, no, no. Now, he taught me a lot of great things with that. But what he taught me the most is that this man right here, 81 years old, he's the Iron Man. He doesn't quit fishing. He doesn't ever take a break. He's got energy for days. He can outfish me, you, and everybody watching this television program right now. This guy right here is awesome. So, so an yeah, awesome day to spend you, with you. But you know, we both have a lot of respect for each other. And that's important because we th I think you're the hottest fisherman in the whole planet right now. And I just, and I'm so, I'm, I, you know, I respect your abilities so much. You just can't believe how proud I am. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. I want you to join me next week. We're going to be on another lake with a new challenge. And thank you so much for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a few things. And I hope, we both hope, that we see you down here, Lake Okeechobee, Roller Martin Marina, close to Florida. Lake Okeechobee is alive and well. I'll see you guys. That's awesome. Good job, Dad. <laughs> All right.